Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Now a lot of YouTubers are making videos based around this topic, but I thought that I'll just give my own personal opinions and insight onto this whole situation. For those of you who have no idea what's going on, this video is going to be about the whole Call of Duty Infinite Warfare versus the Battlefield 1 trailer. So basically six days ago the Battlefield 1 trailer was uploaded to YouTube and as of today the trailer has over 26 million views and over 1.3 million likes. 1.3 million likes and it only has 24,000 dislikes. This is one of the highest rated games in all of YouTube's history. It has gotten so many likes and so much positive review. And on the other hand, the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video was released 10 days ago, so four days before the Battlefield one, and it has over 18 million views, and wait for it, 1.8 million dislikes. 1.8 million dislikes and it only has around 300,000 likes. What Mandira, why? Why is this happening you say? I love Call of Duty. Well let me just tell you the reason behind this kind of response. So Call of Duty fans have been asking for a Call of Duty World War title for ages and so far year after year all we get is the same repetitive futuristic games with absolutely no differentiation from previous years. Now I'm not trying to attack Call of Duty or make it look bad, I personally really like Black Ops 3 but by playing Ghosts, Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 there are a lot of similarities between them and I think fans just want a game that they can relate to more rather than like epic space battles and future futuristic technology. We have no history of this and we can't really relate to games like this and that's why I think fans of Call of Duty are shifting more towards Battlefield 1 now. I mean don't get me wrong, there is the aspect of fans wanting to play games that they can never experience. Like obviously we know what happened in World War 1 and we know like the type of weapons and stuff they had back then but what we don't know is what the future holds and Call of Duty is like trying to give us that type of insight and look into the future but it gets really repetitive because so many games like Halo, Destiny and previous Call of Duty titles they're all based on futuristic events and they're based around the future so it gets like it gets really repetitive and we want like a change in the gaming history. Now once again I'm gonna try and stay mutual I'm not trying to attack Call of Duty I'm just saying that they should try and listen to their fans more like EA DICE did. DICE not only listen to their fans but they also listen to Call of Duty fans and that is amazing. If you go back and look at the trailers for Call of Duty Ghosts, Advanced Warfare and other Call of Duty titles, there are always people in the comments going, I really want the old Call of Duty back, we want World War 1 and World War 2 games, but so far Activision and Infinity Ward have done nothing and DICE just comes in and makes a World War 1 game. And I think that's what people like about it the most, like they're actually listening to their fans rather than just ignoring them. Now along with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, they're also releasing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 Remastered and this game came out in in 2007 I'm pretty sure the only way you can get it is through buying the legacy edition along with infinite warfare which is obviously going to be way more expensive and a lot of people are saying that they're trying to force call of duty infinite warfare down our throats because they know it won't sell that much and they're trying to make it a bundle along with call of duty 4 I'm personally not gonna buy it I'm not gonna spend that much money on a nine-year-old game that's just been remastered and from what I've heard a lot of youtubers aren't going to either also some of you may know the hashtag rip card is trending worldwide and so many YouTubers and even big news channels are really agreeing to the downfall of Call of Duty. I'm also going to leave a link to both the trailers down below and you guys should especially go and watch the Battlefield 1 trailer because it is an amazing trailer. The cinematics and music are just great and you guys are going to love it. Um, a lot of older Call of Duty fans are also switching to Battlefield after analyzing how the companies aren't listening to their fans and I think the only way that Call of Duty can bounce back up now is if they release a Call of Duty World War 2 title next year because it'll be a great add-on from Battlefield World War 1 and the fans are just going to appreciate it and love it. Because at the end of the day that's basically what almost every Call of Duty fan wants. We want a game we can relate to, we want a game that's in the past. What we don't want is another futuristic repetitive game. Oh my fuck, if Activision releases a Call of Duty title next year that is futuristic, that's going to be the end of Call of Duty, I swear it. Because the amount of hate and negative comments that this trailer has got is catastrophic. I have no idea what's going to happen next year if they do do that. It's fucking frustrating because over the years this hate has been building up and the studios aren't 
able to see that. Call of Duty Ghosts, the trailer got 20,000 dislikes. Advanced Warfare got 50,000 dislikes. Black Ops 3 got 80,000 dislikes. And now, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare has fucking 1.8 million dislikes. When are they going to listen to us? Fans do not want this, and I don't know why they can't see that. Next year, they have to listen to us, or I, I don't even know what's going to happen. The hate's been growing up so much over the past couple of years. I don't know what's going to happen next year. I really hope Activision and Infinity Ward take note of what EA and DICE are doing for their fans and how they're just catering to their needs because if they don't listen to us next year that's going to be the end of Call of Duty but at the end of the day you know what it doesn't matter if you guys like the new Call of Duty good for you if you like the new Battlefield one good for you but let me know down in the comments below which one you like and leave a like if you guys like these types of videos and I will see you guys in the next few days till then bye